Okay, so uh, been a while, but wanted to record the final boss here. Uh, managed to build a very interesting, uh, very very heavy value elemental shaman, and uh, just won a game against Mage and Fatigue, which was fun. Despite him playing, I think his like penultimate card was Kabbalist Tome, which among other things gave him Flame Strike. And at that point, I kind of despaired, but I held uh, I held the volcano for a very long time, and eventually nuked his board, and that that turned out to be enough. Um, not sure this deck beats Sagaro. The two games, yeah, yeah, that that is a very very bad matchup. I think the two games I lost were one one was to Rogue and one was to Pally, which had. Uh, one, two, three, four, and buffs. So it's kind of regrettable. We don't really have much in a way of uh, kind of wondering if I should keep Volcano because I think I'm winning the value war, but I need to make sure I deal with the flood. And I'm keeping the two just just for. I mean, it's a good it's a good two to play on six after Volcano, but I probably will I will end up playing it on two. I assume. It has tons of removal. I think it, yeah, it has two Jade Lightning, it has a Lightning Storm, two copies of Volcano and a Tidal Surge. So we're definitely doing fine eh, in terms of removal. But uh, early game is a bit lacking. And uh, yeah, I think we need to play this as a vanilla 3-2 here. Early game is a bit lacking, and uh, uh, we're liable to get overrun if he starts really fast. But uh, and there's also a copy of Spirit Echo in there, which is uh, also very very relevant. It's a weird line, but it gives us board presence because we probably will be able to kill his turn four as well. It's not great for this turn, but he probably plays plays something on four, and we kill it with the, with the other lightning. And uh, yeah, exactly. That lines up perfectly with what we were trying to do there. We still need to draw some of our elemental stuff because I would really, really like to play this on seven. Please don't kill my stuff. Damn. That is very painful. Yeah, and this is this is why he's at eleven, obviously. Do we storm this? If we storm this, we don't really have a play for next turn. We can play the can play the hired gun and the the heal. I don't really like giving him the hired gun. I think we probably storm this against three cards. And the high roll. High roll is always welcome. Yeah, and we play we play the hired gun and the healer, I guess. Could even keep the healer. I don't think title search is this this is not not a good title surge target. And this is our elemental. I think uh, I think that makes more sense. He probably trades everything in so it's useful for us to uh, have additional two power on board to maybe kill something. That's fine. It's kind of regrettable because it makes me uh, want to go off curve by tidal surging it, but I think we're still playing the. Uh, it's just in terms of stats, it's just so much better. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think uh, I think we stay we stay with the curve here. This deck has no source of one damage, which is kind of regrettable because we might have to double trade the five three. But you know, playing the one body that is liable to get sapped or assassinated is just no good. And, uh, you know, as mentioned, this deck is... I mean, we should win the value war. That's just a vanilla peddler, right? That is regrettable, though. We might have to volcano this board, actually. Echo. Echo gives us this, this, and, uh, and, uh, that's not the worst Echo in the world. We could also Volcano and play the Taunt, but he just kills the Taunt. So the question becomes, will we have a better Echo in, uh, in this game? And I think uh, we have almost no card draw, so the answer is it's unlikely. But it gives him very good traits, though. <clears throat> so we kill the 5-1, he kills this, 5-6 five, six, five, six survives. I think it's probably the Volcano. And I don't really want to give him the... Uh, give him the hired gun for the weapon. Whoa, okay. That's not what he drew, right? So if we play this... We can play Tidal Surge and Ferals, and that probably draws the weapon. I think uh, I think we need to draw draw the weapon hit before we play the the volcano or any of our higher value targets. Okay, that's very annoying. That is very very annoying, and that definitely is a very good volcano target. Uh, It's probably the Volcano Sword, because uh, this thing uh, will be good at any point. So we take Stealth. And we take Health. And go Face. Positioning is horrible, but on the other hand, we do we do have the 0-2 in the middle, so it's not that bad. I should keep in mind that this is a rogue. Okay. Yeah, this is very boring because these things will continue staying health, uh, stealth for for a very, very long time. Junyu uh, is a good draw. So I think it's probably the echo turn. And I think we need to kill this now. It looks horrible, but I think we need to. Because it, otherwise it will buff more things. So he is repping 19. We should probably wait on the heal then. No. No. Yeah, this is the line. So
so we need to draw we need to draw into uh, more AOE that thistle tea was really really valuable for him these things are just tremendously good against my board they just continue killing things and going back to stealth and that's just incredibly annoying here Although this is probably the last the last round that this happens. Yeah, if he does it this way, the other one, yeah, that's a, that's a good shot. That's a good shot by him. Primordial here would be a tremendous draw. Yeah, and the elemental synergy is just not there for us. So he is repping a ton of damage so we need to kill this and we need to get stuff in the way and this will go back to stealth which is horrible Might not win this. Yeah, that thistle tea was just was just brutal, considering our hand. We just can't do anything at all with these with these things. And we're not drawing any of our elementals to for the for the tollweir to become a a good engine and for you know the rest of the value. He's taking his sweet time on this. Uh, can I have my volcano, please? Volcano, primordial. There's stuff in there I will really, really enjoy drawing right now. Yeah, not that. Not that. Both of his things actually die to, uh, well, yeah, he kills it with that. It's just not great. Like if we play this, he kills the taunt with the volcano uh, with the raptor. This is a five-five taunt. He will have to expand one of those, but then he dumps his hand. I think this is a better line. That's just horrible. Where's my... Where's any of the good stuff? It needs to get value. I think I can tank the 12. But it just needs to get value. I can't let let him just kill it with a 6-2, I think. May have been a mistake. That's okay, I think. Yeah, there's the elemental. So we play this. We play this, we play this, and we play a totem. And finally we can maybe start chaining elementals. Because a ton of, our rema of the remainder of the deck is actually elementals here.
Are we dead? Shouldn't be dead. Kinda dead. Holy cow. Assassinate and the sap. Yeah. Maybe tanking the 15 was optimistic, but then, like, we have other problems. I'm not sure it was wrong. It's an interesting game. I honestly am still completely unsure if I was if I was wrong there. What I needed was, you know, any kind of a buff like divine shield, a plus three health, or like, although that would have drawn that would have drawn an assassinate or a sap. So I think against his hand we were probably dying anyway. But uh, yeah, a very interesting a very interesting game. I'm happy I decided to record it, and that's. Uh, a decent chunk of money. Alrighty then. Alrighty then, that concludes the the broadcast. <laughs>